Hello and welcome back to Watch Talk. Um, today I'm going to be um, reassembling Salita, Swiss Movement Salita SW210-1. Um, pulled it apart before, gave it a little bit of an inspection, a little bit of a clean. There's nothing wrong with it, it's a brand new movement. Um, but um, I wasn't going to re-oil it because I you know, only just reordered it recently, but as I took things off, it was you know I gave it a bit of a spot clean, so I thought I thought I would just um, oil it just to yeah just to oil it. So okay, so let's commence. Let's just sorry about moving stuff around. I'm gonna just try to get myself organised. Um, so where we're we gonna start first? Where we're we gonna start? We'll probably start. Um, just give a little bit of a, I might be swapping over to the Rodico and giving it a bit of a spot clean if I see any marks that I don't like. Okay, but what I'll start doing is I'll put in, um, this, um, centre wheel, which is not in the centre, um, or second wheel, I think they call it as well, second wheel, centre wheel, and the um, the barrel. Okay, give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a clean and a bit of a wipe. Away we go. So let's get our little parts out of the way, and that's in this uh, container here. Let's just make sure you're all in focus and the camera's on. And yep, it's it is what it is. You're not going to get a really clear macro view, but like I said, I'm not here to teach you. You know. You want to watch shows on, you know, movie uh, videos on, you know, you watch, you know, there's some really, really good guys out there. I'm just, just trying to show you that, you know, you too can, uh, can do this. You don't need to be, don't have to have too many skills. Anyway, so first thing we'll do is we'll get this centre wheel and just drop that in there. And I'll just give that, I've already given it a little bit of a clean, but I'll just give that Give it a little bit of a clean. All right, so that sits in there. Now, like I said before, got to get this on first. Um, then you put on your um, your barrel because otherwise uh, you're not going to be able to get it on. Otherwise, okay, and that goes on like. Whoops, it just slides under there like that. I think, I think, let me just have a look, no it doesn't, it goes on like that, of course it does, it's backwards, upside down, right, well that makes sense because that outer, let me just, and you're probably noticing I was wearing uh, um, finger cots when I was taking it apart, I mean, the only reason I did that is because I wasn't going to clean it, but um, I gave it a bit of a spot clean, now, uh, I had that upside down, that's why I didn't, but there, there's a gear on this centre wheel on the top, and that, um, or that pinion, I suppose, engages with the um, the teeth on this um, barrel, so give it a bit of a clean, you can see as you know, you turn it around a little bit, it turns quite nicely. Um, I don't know whether I'm gonna, I'll probably will. Now the oils you use on this, I've looked in the book and the oils, is two oils you use on this whole movement is a, um, ouch. Two, um, stab myself with my oiler, that's okay. Um, two, um, two oils you use with this movement essentially is a 90-10, which is a thin oil, and a D5, which is a thicker oil. So I just put a little bit of D5, just a touch of D5 on this um, on this arbor because just does a dab because it just does ton, tend to you in view yep it just tends to a and good practice is with your oils um when you have time you grab oil just covering them up just to avoid any uh, contaminants getting in there. Okay, so we um, dubbed a little bit of oil there. I'll just give it a bit of a, 
don't know if that's marks on the that's probably just a little bit of marks on there nothing too special but anyway it is what it is um yeah make sure it engages give it a bit of a turn no problem done and another thing we got to we have to remember is when we put this bridge on and i'll grab the bridge the barrel bridge One thing we have to remember is that we put that um, stop lever or hacking lever or whatever, whatever you want to call it, you put that on as well. Because if you don't, you're going to have to take this all apart and do that. And that, my friends, is not, not fun. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm just giving the underside. I don't know if I'm in view. Can you see me? Here? You can see me cleaning away. Good. I just want, to, just want to see what the sort of range is I've got on here. But anyway, I'll just give this a little bit of a clean with the... I've just been through my cleaner, it's all been done, but you know, just want to give it a little bit of a spot clean, just any oil that escaped me before. Anyway, so before we put that bridge on, let's get the um the hacking lever out. That's it there. I'll give that a bit of a clean and just be very careful because you fling this away, you're not gonna find it. Well you you will, but you'll be on the hands and knees for hours. So I don't want to be on my hands and knees for hours. Okay, so that's that. So that there sits on this little post here. So what I might do is just put a little bit of, a little bit of D5 on that. And this this red oiler, it's the smallest oiler in this um, packet of, of four oilers that I've got. It's the smallest one, but I tell you what, on this D5, because the, because the D5 is a bit thicker, it just grabs a lot of oil I don't, I don't like it I'm gonna I have yeah, I, I have ordered um another set of oh, I'm bumping the camera I have ordered another set of oilers and what I'm gonna do with those ones is I'm gonna take the smallest one and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grind it down a little bit just so it's more I think you can buy um, a I'm pretty sure you can buy, there you go, it's on this little post there. I'm sure you can buy a smaller, I, I think Bergeon, I think Bergeon makes a, um, um, a smaller black oiler. Um, all right, so that's on there. Just make sure it's not up too far. If it's up too far, then it's going to get in the way of that little screw hole that's um for that bridge just make sure it's sitting there okay grab this bridge give it a bit of a might have to rotate that a little bit and then we uh, make sure we get it on now the trick for these is i've seen these other videos and i agree with them totally is do not line up the um the pivots you don't want to line up the pivots you want to line up these um the posts so that'll help you a lot when you do that now how does this go on that's obviously what am i doing here have i totally lost the plot here or what um Well, that's got to go on like that, right? That's got oil all over it. I thought I cleaned that. Clearly, I didn't. Clearly, I didn't clean it. Let's go underneath this. We'll have a look. Now, just having a look at this. Have I done this right? I'm on the right one. Yep, yep. All right, get my little pointy stick out. And I said I was gonna go and sharpen it up, but I didn't. Went and had lunch instead. Okay. Um, that's where it should be. Just double check. So it's always good to just to put a bit of pressure on there, just make sure everything's still turning. Yep, it's okay. Lovely. <laughs> Just making sure that hacking lever move is moving. Yep. 
Beautiful. Okay, and then you just grab the screws. There are three screws for this. Just be careful you don't bounce them because those screws will bounce and they will end up in the black hole. Okay, you just, whoops. Right, okay, that's one screw there. Put a bit of pressure on that plate just to make sure things don't bounce around. Just start it up. That's one. Just take all the screws out. Don't normally do this because it gets me nervous when you lose something and then you knock that other screw off and then you're in all sorts of trouble. So that's the second screw in. And then you go for... Oops. Of course, the third screw had to go in upside down, didn't it? Just to make my life interesting. Now you're probably noticing that as well, that I'm changing hands with a screwdriver every now and again. Unfortunately, I am ambidextrous, which is a blessing and a curse. I do find the left hand to be a bit more um accurate but the right hand i've got all my strength is in my right so i'm pretty awkward can't play tennis for the life of me because i serve with the right hand and then i switch over and play with the left because <laughs> i got my power in my right but my accuracy with my left i'm weird i can't play i play if i play any other sports i play right-handed like if i'm playing them you know i don't know if I'm throwing a ball on that, and bowling a ball, so it's always right-handed, but catching, I can catch with both, but kicking, I kick with the left eye, but yeah, so sometimes you'll see me flipping over between left and right and think, what the hell is this guy doing, but that's, that's my story. Okay, let's sit on that. I don't like, uh, no, I do, I do like, I was going to say, now because I've got that on, uh, that shouldn't fall out. That shouldn't fall out, and should I put the um, the winding? No, I won't. I'll put on. I'll put on. I'll, I'll put the winding stuff on later. So what I'll do is put that aside, that box. And what I might do is just give it a little. No, give it a little dab of oil later. And just clean, clean your uh, clean your screwdrivers and your um your oilers and your um, tweezers every now and again with a bit of pith wood. Good for it. Okay, now I will put on the um, the main train. I can put on, because this 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 top plate here, this uh, barrel bridge, uh, that will hold all the keyless works in. So I could, could flip it over and put the keyless works in, but um, let's be different, hey? Let's just be totally different. Just make sure this camera is on so I don't not talk to a crazy person. Okay. All right. So we'll put that on. So the first thing we'll put on is we'll get these um, little wheels out. Oops. That was the center wheel, fourth wheel. That's the third wheel. And the escape wheel. Okay. Is that all right? That's okay. Yep. Okay, so the third wheel. So the third one. Um, put the escape wheel in first. That goes in there, like so. Lovely. Third wheel goes in upside down. Be very careful with that. And there's a really, really, really small jaw that it goes into there. So let's just. And that engages with them. Um, so, just to waste a bit of time, right? Let's just make sure I'm centered here. Am I centered here okay? No, that's not right. Let's move that there. My little, my little way. There we go. My little piece of rotico. My centering, my centering rotico. There you go. Uh, just to explain it a little bit, this um, uh, mainspring barrel, um, obviously all the power comes from there. And then that power obviously is delivered through a series of, of gears 
and which works its way to the escapement and uh, the escape wheel and the escape will basically uh, um, is opened and closed so to speak by the pallet the pallet just you know opens and closes and releases that energy and um, what dictates how that releases the energy is the um, is the balance and that's the the heart and brains of the watch so we have the mainspring barrel which drives this um, center wheel which is not in the center or second wheel and that drives that pinion and then that pinion drives the wheel and the wheel that wheel there drives the third wheel and the third wheel drives the fourth wheel uh, or the second the seconds wheel uh, the actual you know ticking seconds wheel uh, and then that all sort of is goes through and uh, is driven this third wheel drives the um, escape wheel so balance drives the second wheel second wheel drives a third wheel third wheel drives the escapement and does it drive the escapement it drives the escapement and then also I think drives the yeah also drives the um, the fourth wheel so anyway So we drop that on there and that fits on there nicely and just let's just double check that it's sitting on that that pivot is sitting on that jaw which is nice another way of checking here one of the things i first did when i first pulled apart this movement is i didn't line this up properly the third wheel not yeah the third wheel didn't line it up properly and because i didn't line it up properly now that i couldn't get this fourth wheel in and um it's so tight. There's a little hole there that goes through through the guts, and that this is this is where the second, the second hand, you know, the second's hand comes off. So it was hiding, was obscuring that hole. So I, I knew there was something wrong. But this is this seems like it's it's working okay. And if I just move that balance, um, you see how everything is driven. So as you just touch that um, mainspring bar, everything turns. But no, I, I was wrong there. The third wheel doesn't drive the escape. The third wheel drives the fourth wheel and that fourth wheel will drive the escape wheel which makes sense anyway whatever probably totally wrong but you know. anyway but before we proceed further what we need to do is this um this is the second wheel this is the where, where, where's my yeah yeah, yeah yeah see it sits a long shaft you can distinguish it easily from the other 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 uh, gears uh, it's a long shaft with a really, really, you can see, very, very, very fine, yay, very fine pinion there. Okay. Now that what you do here is you just give a little bit of put a little bit of oil on that. What's, what's that look like? Screwdriver's a bit wonky. Right. Put a little bit of oil on that, and that's just so when it goes through that um, center shaft, it doesn't um, it gives a bit of lubrication. Now that's um, the books normally say put. Um, 90-10 on that, so this is the the um, the really um, light stuff. So we put a little bit of a 90-10 on that, and then just be ever so careful when you when you drop this in because you shouldn't you shouldn't get any oil, shouldn't get any oil on the gears. That is a no-no. Except I think um, the only gears that get a little bit of oil is if you're doing an automatic movement and all those reducing wheels or whatever the kind of reduction wheels get a little bit of oil. So what I try to do with this one is I just try to hold back that third wheel a little bit so it doesn't get touched. Just try to take a bit of... Push it back. Just push it back a little bit just so it doesn't touch it. If it touches it a little bit, well then that's life, I suppose. You just you get over it. Right now, again, let's make sure we've got everything in. Just give it a bit of a turn. And just gonna be careful because it's so touchy that see the escape will just jump out. Gotta be careful, just careful. So we'll do it again without the escape wheel in there. And yeah, it's it's moving, it's, all you need is escape. So just gonna be careful, get this escape wheel back in. 
get my act together. Okay, well, just be very careful with this. Uh, these pivots, these pivots are ever so, ever so delicate. You don't want to bust them up because that'll give you a whole lot of grief. I'm just having a little bit of a hard time getting this escape pivot in. There you go. All right. Give it a bit of a visual inspection. That driving that, that's driving that. That's, that looks good. Okay, that is looking good. Now we've got that on, so let's get the um let's just make sure you're in view. Yep. Now um we will get the um the bridge on that. So the train wheel bridge. Train wheel bridge is this one here. Like I said before, it would have been nice if it was um somehow engine turned or you know you know had some engraving on it would look really cool but anyway oops it's not a high-end movement but I'm sure there are some people out there that are pretty good enough to do that engraving on it me no right now just orientate yourself um, as much as you can that's going to obviously fit over all this area here so obviously the orientation is going to be here and there there's a little post there which will line up with um, the little hole there and the screw hole just above it. Just so you've got to turn up, you know, fumbling away. Although it is a bit of a fumble, but we just try to minimise it as much as possible. Anyway, so again, line up the posts. Don't line up the. Don't, don't try to line up these um, these pivots with these uh, jewels. Yeah, no hope. Um, just line up that. Um, those posts like that we've lined that one up that fell straight on top of it and this other one goes on top and then you just get your um your little stick your little stick a bit of rotoke i'm not rotoke uh, your peg wood and um, i'll get my one i use is my um sharpie one with the little um sharpie one with the little you know the sharp one with the end taken off just to put a bit of pressure on that there, there. And while, you, while you've got that pressure on they just want to turn it around a little bit and you see how it's all it's it's jammed up it's not doing i did hear i just I, I did watch a video and a guy said once you get off this you tap on here a few times and it'll fall into place let's see how i want to I see if this works because if this works this guy's a magician Just tap on that. He said, "Tap on the the movement holder, and it'll it'll fall into place." Nah, not not for me. But then again, he wasn't using this movement holder. All right, now this here can can go on really easily, and we can come on and give you a lot of grief. Just have to put a little bit of pressure, wiggle it as a little bit here, a little bit there, and it'll it'll it will it will fall into place. You know, if you're a lot better than me, you might be able to. And I must say, I've heard people, you know, go through a lot of grief here. And the first time I pulled this apart, I absolutely jagged it. And when I say jagged, it, I mean, I fluked it. I asked that it fell into place. I put it on there, touched it, and everything moved. And I thought, wow, this is not hard. Then the second time I took this apart, it took me about 20 minutes, half an hour. And I thought, oh, gee, not so easy. Oh. See, that's in. However, it's in except for that escape wheel. The escape wheel is not in. So I'll just keep the pressure on. And if I just, if I just move the, just a tad. And that's popped out. Oops. Not that thing. Is that in? No. Not that um, third wheel is not liking it. And that's not. And this is probably the. The part that will. Test your patience. More than anything. 
Am I still in view here? Yeah, yeah, just sorry, I just want to make sure because right, let's well, there you go. See, see there, you move it and it goes, Woo! makes that, that wall noise. I like that wall noise. Just keeping applying pressure on that because it's in, everything is moving. Is you grab yourself your screws and you go for, as quick as you can without losing the screw. Oh, and you know, and you drop the screw and they're crooked and they're there, and then you're just on your own again. Okay, that's not that's it there. Where's the screwdriver? Oh, exactly. Oh, please hope it didn't move. Yeah, you see, I knocked it. Damn it. I knocked it and, uh, oh no, there it goes. All right, keep the pressure on. Get the pressure on. Put that screw in just a little bit. Just keep the tension on just in case. Grab the other screw. Sorry, I'm just moving stuff around here. Yeah. Daisy, get that on there, and then just double check. Always double check. Always before you drive these things, these screws home, you just double check because you can see that. See that now it's all jammed up. Somehow it's something's popped out. All right. So you know, I just undid them, and it, it all sort of went back to. It all it all fell into place, but making that noise, whoop whoop, like a turbo. Do up that one. Do up that one. Snug, but not tight yet. Again, it's not doing it. Why not? What's the matter with you, man? Why are you giving me grief? There we go. If I if I'd driven that home, if I'd driven those things home, I would have been in all sorts of trouble. I would have snapped the pivot. Right. Again, now it's it, it's all moving. So why is it why is it when I why is it when I do that up? That's it. All right. That's going okay. Whoop. Just tighten that up Whoop. just a little bit. What's happening now? No, see it's not, it's this screw here is giving me the absolute not playing game, not playing ball. Alright, what do I need to do? Do I need to wiggle something a little bit? Why is that not doing that? Why is that not playing the game? Hear it? When that happens, then you know you've got everything together. You should be able to just drive these screws home and, you know, move on to the next thing. Why is it not working for me? <sighs> Why is it not working for me? Mm, I don't want to drive them home too much. Oh, I don't want to break something. That's not playing the game. What's happening here? Well, those pivots appear to be in. Why is it not doing that for me? Well, there you go, folks. Well, I'm out of focus. Not out of focus, out of screen. I don't want to...
I reckon it's because, because that's all me. Look at here. It's all moving like it should. When I drop that screw though, it just jams up. It's making all the right noises, but when you do that up, it doesn't like it. Oh, hang on. See, just it just it just went it just I don't know. That seemed to be alright now. See, that's mm, I don't know. Let's have a look now. Yeah, that's okay now. See, it's just it's just really let's just drive that home. Don't have, to, don't have to do them so, you know, you pull your back out, you know, doing them up. Just snug them up. This ain't going anywhere. Right. Yep, so it's working perfectly. Hear it? Yep. Happy with that. Just get my little rotico. My little uh, centering. Uh, I'm going to make a black mark on that turn. I'm going to make a black mark on that so we're, we're uh, centered. Just so I can. I know it's annoying, I'm sorry. You've probably, you've probably tuned out by now, haven't you? Anyway, it is what it is. Right, yep, yeah, so I'm happy with that now. So you hear that noise, it just goes whoop, whoop. Let's bring it up closer, maybe you don't hear it. Hang on. Have a look. See, it's all turning around like it should. Okay. Now, because it's doing all the right things, I will just give it a bit of a clean with the Rodico as well. And then I'll give it a little bit of just double check again, triple check. I'm, I know I said double check and I've checked it a hundred times. Right, that's it. I'm happy with that now. Okay, that shouldn't have taken that long. But you know what? It wasn't that bad, was it really? 